I moved to Fresno in July 2006, I was engaged to a man who's from the Valley, and then he was diagnosed with cancer September 6, 2006. Having known Amy for a number of years, I, I know that one of the things that's really distinctive about her is the way she gets really passionate about various projects. Amy called me, I was working at the Fresno Bee at the time, and she wanted to come in and talk about what it would be like to start a dance company in Fresno. And I was really impressed with her desire to really elevate the cultural scene here. My husband, Donnie, was really helping me to see how I could potentially be the change I want to see in the world, and I could just do it myself. And we became a 501c3 nonprofit company, Fresno Dance Collective, otherwise known as NOCO. Founded with the mission to expand the culture of dance through performance education and outreach. And then three months later, my husband died. I kind of had a manic response to grief. That first year we did 36 shows. We just, I made so much work. I mean, the work just dripped out of me. She was able to kind of blend together all of these intense emotions and some amazing dance moves. As an artist, you can confront your own issues and your own grief, but you can also help other people confront those same issues. I got an email from Lilia at the Fresno Arts Council looking for dance teachers for prison arts project. I just was never a question, why not? Yes, I would love to teach dance in a prison. Prisons are correction and rehabilitation. We are a part of that rehabilitation. Many of these participants had very few choices in life. Many of them got in trouble so young and then went from juvie, surprise you're 18, get on this bus, now you're in prison. And their entire life has been institutionalized. Dance is this outlet of where you don't have to worry about answering to somebody. And through dance, you can tell your story and tell who you are. So in a way, it becomes something where you aren't just some number, you are an actual person. To practice movement that's indirect, it's free, it's unbound. When was the last time they were able to experience lightness in their body and not just heaviness? And when prison life is just the only thing they know, I can see why it's so difficult to live in the real world. And I can also see a little bit why you have this sort of repeated crime situation. It's just, it would be very different to restart your life. And I told them, you know, honestly, like losing my husband and restarting my life and not really wanting to die, but not really wanting to live in a weird world that I don't understand anymore and having to just go into the depths of my soul and just become, that process helped me to relate to living in a world that doesn't feel like the real world. I think there's a reason why it doesn't matter what culture you look at, whether it's prehistoric to today, that people practice art. It helps us work through some of the issues that we face just being human. There are many benefits to arts education programs, and particularly with this population, it's a chance to be treated like a human. Fresno has really supported us throughout the years and we get hired to go and perform and I think that's a huge vote for what we're doing, that people believe in what we're doing. And the dream that I've built has been shared by many.